Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and in this video I want to share with you some of the best courses that you can take if you want to learn about programming. Now these are going to be affordable courses so that it doesn't harm your wallet and you can also get access to the best structured roadmap for learning any particular sector in programming that I will be covering in this particular video. Make sure that you watch this till the very end and hit the like button and subscribe if you are interested and excited to start learning to code. Now I am talking about paid resources and I'm not talking about free ones because when you pay however small the amount might be you have this sense of urgency that you know you have invested into something and if you don't use it it would just go in vain it would just go as a waste so then you are having that skill in the game and you'll be much more likely to complete a course of course i'm not talking about you know going in with super expensive courses i'm talking about affordable ones so here it is we'll talk about various different fields we'll talk about dsa python anno development ios swift git and github machine learning and so much more make sure that you watch till the end the first course is going to be about dsa because i think that's what most of you are struggling with and so here it is data structures and algorithms essentials using c the latest 2022 course by prateek narang now prateek narang has credibility of being in this space and he knows a lot about how data structures work he has worked in google as well so he's sharing exactly how can you learn dsa and he's teaching you everything inside of this one course so you'll learn about arrays basic sorting algorithms you learn about character arrays and strings you learn about 2d arrays you learn about pointers and dynamic mem memory you learn about vector data structures you learn about bit manipulation about recursion you learn about divide and conquer and the list just goes on and on as you can see it's a power packed 27 hour long course that you can take and you can learn about DSA from scratch from Prateek Narang. I have heard a lot about this course so just wanted to mention this over here and I think you can take a look at this one and get great value from this one. Also the courses are available for as cheap as 475 and this is the great part about Udemy. I started learning to code got my first programming course from Udemy itself and I started learning programming from there on. So this is the first course about DSA, definitely recommended. As you can see, 4.5 stars, 1900 ratings, 10,500 students. Great course for you to start learning DSA and preparing for your coding interviews. Moving on, let's take a look at one of my favorite courses on Udemy about Python. This is called as the 2022 Complete Python Bootcamp from Zero to Hero in Python. Now this one is taken by Jose Portela, who is a great instructor. I have personally learned Python using this particular course right here when I was just getting started in 2019. Now this course is great because the speed with which he explains everything is amazing. You will be able to understand everything and the learning curve is perfect for anyone who has no experience about programming and just wants to get into this field and start learning about few programming fundamentals right so you learn about python setup you then try to learn about python objects and data structure basics you learn about comparison operators python statements methods and functions there's a project in between as well which is amazing you learn about object oriented programming you learn about modules and packages and error handling exception handling you learn about python decorators you learn about generators all of this is great but then it gets even better right so you learn about web scraping with python you learn about working with images using the pill library in python you also learn about working with pdfs and spreadsheets csv files you learn about emailing with python using the smtp protocol you learn about the final python project which is going to be the capstone one which is again a great way for you to practice and see if you really understood all the concepts that the teacher has taught and at the end you learn about some advanced python objects and data structure basics learn about guis graphical user interfaces and that's basically what this course is going to be about excellent course if you want to learn about python i can recommend it to you personally from my own personal experience that sounded weird but okay let's move on to the next one this is going to be about web development from Angela Yu. Now I have taken this course and I've learned about the full stack web development 
using this one course particularly i've also made a separate video which is a in-depth review about this course and a lot of you were really happy to see that particular video but moving on this course is great because here you can learn about the fundamentals html css javascript you learn about dom manipulation you learn about react and then you go to the next level you learn about security you learn about encryption you learn about databases mongodb mongoose you learn about sql you learn about all the different functions and queries that are involved you learn about git and github and ssl and heroku and the list just goes on and on right here let me just give you a glimpse of everything that you will be able to learn from here you also learn about bootstrap you learn about javascript as i've talked before you also learn about node.js about express.js you learn to use different uh, html templators you learn about apis you learn about how to create a rest api you learn about building different projects you know this is the best part about this course you get to build projects all the time like that's literally how you're learning things with the help of this course particularly in web development which i think is really crucial if you spend time reading just the theory part in web development you won't really get it until you actually start executing and that's what this course helps you out with right you learn about unix command line interface you learn about ejs you learn about databases as i've talked before learn about react js and it also talks about web3 which is again great right so you learn to build tabs using blockchain you also learn to mint your own nfts and the you know the best part about all of these courses is that these courses get regularly updated so when i bought this course right here it was actually not having the web3 segment which is now added on right here, right? So it's always gonna be updated. You don't have to pay anything extra. Once you pay for the course, that's literally all that you need, which I think is a great add-on over here. By the way, all the courses are listed in the description and in the first comment. So you can have a look at that if you are interested and you can start learning from there onwards. So here is the course on machine learning. If you wanna get into artificial intelligence, if you want to learn about how to build your own models, how to predict something, how to use data, how to clean the data, how to analyze situations and how to basically come at a conclusion, right? Now going down and having a look at what all you learn from this, this course starts out with basic data processing in Python. It also talks about how to use the R programming language. You learn about basic regression. You learn about support vector regression, decision trees. Taking a look at what you learn from this course, it starts out with basic data pre-processing. So it includes, you know, how to use Python or R to process data. Then you learn about simple linear regression, multiple linear regression. You learn about polynomial regression. You learn about support vector regression. You'll also learn about decision trees, random forest, and a variety of different regression algorithms. You will then also learn about classification in which we'll be talking about logistic regression, about K nearest neighbors, about support vector machines, about kernel SVM, naive base, and a variety of other classification algorithms right here. Then you'll also learn about K means clustering, hierarchical clustering you'll also learn about association rule learning and it just goes on and on right this is an in-depth course how many hours is this is this is like 44 hours long course in which you will learn everything in depth and you will have an idea of how to use all of these tools and build models from scratch and try to understand should you be using clustering should you be using classification or regression you'll get an idea about all of that with the help of this one course on machine learning moving onwards let's take a look at android development but before that if you're liking this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more information on programming in general so this course right here is going to be about android 12 I got to hear a lot of good things about this course from my friends. So I thought of including this over here. I personally don't have experience about Android, to be honest with you. I have mostly been a web developer or tinkered with Python, but this is the course that they say is a great starting point in which you can learn about Java object-oriented programming. You can learn about different components, resources, widgets, learn about creating different fragments, data storage, you learn about you know, Android Jetpack, you learn about all of these different things. You also get to learn about Firebase. You learn to use Google Maps. You learn to create animation and material design. And you also get to use RESTful APIs over here in this course right here. A 77 hour long course, which is value packed. You go from Java all the way to building modern Android apps and also learn a little bit about how design really works. 
let's take a look at the next course which is going to be on git and github and oh my god this is a very important concept most people who are learning programming take a very long time to get to git and github and i think they should actually be learning that as soon as possible so this course will help you with understanding the basics of git how does version control really work what are branches how to merge branches you'll also learn about github and how it all really works how to create a simple repository how to you know create a pull request how to merge requests and everything under the name of version control will be taught to you as you can see first of all you learn about how to install git you'll then learn about very basics adding something committing something you'll all learn about working with branches merging and everything is covered over here as you can see right i wish i learned about git commands before right after learning about python i should have focused on this while i actually learned about this later on and i was just using the github you know functions to actually upload a repository upload different files so i think i should have learned it before and i think that's a learning that you should also take up from this video right here moving on to the last course that you can take away from here is going to be on ios and swift you know the ratio of people having android phones and ios phones is uh changing right now so a lot of people are focusing on getting ios phones and if you want to develop great applications you can take a look at this course which teaches you everything from scratch the instructor is angela Yu, so you will get a great learning curve so you can learn everything from scratch very easily with the help of this one course and you know because you are building an ios app the people using ios phones will be having a higher purchasing power so whatever app you create the likelihood of it creating more revenue is going to be a lot more as well over here so this course is taken by 290,000 students 75,000 ratings and it is rated at 4.8 it's a bestseller on udemy that you can take a look at over here 60 hours long course which takes you the, from the very basics of installing xcode then you go and learn about basics of swift programming language you learn about how to create basic layouts you learn about the swift ui you learn about basics of version control you learn about advanced swift you also learn about core ml and machine learning this will help you use different models and predict things in your own application you also learn about using ar kit which is a very interesting and new addition to ios and with the help of this you can build ar application which is really cool right here right so this course has a bunch of different projects that you can also create and that's going to be a great way for you to learn about swift and ios development in general so these were the different seven courses that you can take if you want to learn programming whatever area you are into you can just pick that whatever you like the most and then you can go along with that if you don't have any idea where to start i think i would recommend you to take a look at the python course that i talked about from jose portela take a look at that thank you so much for watching you can take a look at the link in the description as well as in the first comment if you want to get access to any of these courses that i've mentioned in this video thanks a lot i'll see you all in the next video till then keep learning keep exploring and share this video with your friends tag me on instagram and twitter at ishan sharma 790 i'll catch you all in the next one Bye bye